A new book, Tough As They Come, the memoirs of Staff Sergeant Travis Mills, just made one of the New York Times bestseller lists. From days after he was injured, Fox 4 News has chronicled his remarkable story, one of only five surviving quadruple amputees. Travis, his wife and daughter were in town earlier this week as part of a nationwide tour to promote the book. And we caught up with him at a Barnes & Noble in North Dallas. Tough as they come does not begin to describe Travis Mills or his determination. I used to be right-handed and then happened to have a mishap at work, you know, one of those rough days, and automatically became a no-hander. And then when they brought prosthetics, the longer arm won, so I became a left-hander. The injuries he suffered, the life he leads now, a one-of-a-kind story. Like when I talk to a crowd, I try to disarm a crowd, you know, make them feel right at home. Travis invites no pity, instead incites laughter. You know, what do you call a guy with no arms and legs in the ocean? And it's Bob, you know, it, in a hole is Phil. And the guy with no arms and legs standing in front of you? <laughs> Travis. Travis is touring the country these days promoting the book. People ask me, how do you keep going and keep such a positive attitude? It's all perspective. I got to be honest, I, there's guys and men and women that just did not make it home. On this Texas stop, his family has come with him. Even four-year-old Chloe available for book signing. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Chloe. Okay, Mom. Nailed it, sweetheart. Along with Kelsey, who penned several excerpts in a journal in the spring of 2012, in the days after Travis dropped his backpack on an IED in Afghanistan. The part of the book I wrote, I wrote a long time ago when we first met. My son and son-in-law have been over there three times together, and they've given up so much of their lives. Kelsey and six-month-old Chloe were living in Frisco, Texas then with her parents, while Travis and her brother's unit was deployed. Everybody's been saying, I, you know, I don't know how we survived, and you know, yeah, if it was anybody else, they wouldn't have. It was her first encounter with a TV news crew. Travis was still in a hospital in Germany, missing parts of all four limbs, facing dozens of painful procedures, what would become 19 months of determined rehab. You guys have come so far. I know. From that time you came into my parents' house, what, three years ago? Yeah. It was really scary back then, and now we kind of, it's a lot happier times now and ahead and just living our new normal. Travis has established a foundation to build a retreat for wounded warriors and their families near where he now lives in Maine with Kelsey and Chloe. She's like in Maine too? Everybody's like yeah. in Maine? You're waiting for the snow, right? Well, we still claim you in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Travis has also optioned the movie rights to his story, but more importantly. I think it's had a normalcy. He goes to work, she goes to school, I go to school. I mean, we really live a normal Yeah, I put my, Yeah, the only difference is I put my pants on and my legs. I'd say, and then... He says the same jokes over and over. Oh, she loves them. Travis Mills will tell you he is no longer a wounded warrior, that he is healed and living with the scars. What a great family. I, I, I just love them. And, and who else do you know that... Uh, I just can't imagine going through that uh -huh. and having the positive attitude he has and the great things that they are really doing in Maine to help other families like them. Yeah. So more to come. We're, we'll keep... Follow them most too. And boy, Chloe's sure grown she, up. She's a beautiful little girl. She's a sweetheart too. All right, Rich, thanks. That's just a great story. I'm glad you've continued to follow them. Amen.